everybody, my name is Helen and today we're going to talk about some writing stuff. As some of you may know from back when I made videos before, I am an author. I do write. I'll actually put a link to the author newbie tag somewhere for you to watch if you want. The audio is shit. I apologize, but you know what can you do? So in that video I talked about my novel Scarlet a lot, which had just come out and it is still out in the world. I'm very proud of it. Again, links and stuff will be down below if you want to check it out. Basically, I miss talking about writing on this channel. So I figured I would start a monthly sort of writing update thing. So the first things I kind of want to tell you about are I discovered some really cool tools in the last little while for writing. These are things that either help my productivity or just kind of just help me get words on paper, man. It's hard. So the first one that I am going to recommend is a website and it is called For The Words. And basically this is a RPG that you complete by writing. So you can fight different beasts and they have like different word counts and time limits so you have to write a certain number of words within that time limit and you defeat them and you can gather items and craft and it's all kinds of crazy. If you take part in NaNoWriMo they actually offer you a hella discount for their crystal bundles which can be used to purchase subscription time and on average their subscription is only like four dollars a month so it's really not that bad. It's a great program. It does have a bit of a learning curve right now they just updated their website but once you kind of figure out how everything works it's really easy to use and it's so so much fun. The next tool that I have to tell you about is what I'm very excited about and it is this baby. <sighs> This is an Alpha Smart. So these are a thing that came into existence a very long time ago and they're no longer in production, but there are a shit ton of them on eBay. And basically you can, it's just like a little disembodied keyboard with a little tiny screen. It can't connect to the internet, but you can connect it with a USB to your computer and upload anything you write on it to your computer. I've been using this whenever I need to write out of the house or when I want to write in bed. Because I use For The Words a lot right now for my writing, I tend to write on that if I'm away from my computer and when I get back I will directly just look at it and copy it into For the Words so that any monsters I would have fought I can still get the experience and loot for. And in relation to why I might need to write while I'm out of the house, I currently have a weekly writing group which has been wonderful. I live in a really fucking small town and I didn't think anyone else would be taking part in NaNoWriMo but I found a friend who is and he and I started meeting up every Tuesday at the library and it just kind of kept going. I love that writing group. I love going to the library just to meet up with him for a couple of hours. Ever since getting my Alpha Smart, I've just been bringing it with me to the library. And the last sort of tool I have, it's not really for writing, but it is for reading. I started a book journal. I saw Jesse the Reader make a little book journal and I've been wanting a way to keep better track of my books. Right now this is super simple. I only have two pages sort of laid out in it like this and I basically just have like a new releases and a TBR and then a little section where I can write just information about them and whether or not I want to review them. I intend to also use this to write rough drafts of reviews before putting them up on Goodreads or recording them. So I feel like it's going to be a good tool for my writing because it's going to help me be more critical. I also just really wanted to show it off. Moving on to actual writing stuff. This is a thing. That's my name. And this has a really disgusting watermark across it saying not for resale. This is my proof copy. Don't judge me. I have a friend named Kelly. I'll link her channel and her group writing channel down below. She is neck deep in the self-publishing world. She loves it and she really made me want to dip my toes in the water. So I self-published a book. The ebook is actually available for pre-order. It is coming out on March 5th and it currently has a special pre-order price of 99 cents. The paperback edition is available to order as well and it is $12 USD. I'm just like super proud of this. So this follows a girl named Brooke. She's in her last year of high school and she is on her way to getting into Ivy League schools. That's all she's ever wanted and it's earned her a bit of a reputation as being very bossy and very controlling. And then there is James, who is the resident high school delinquent. He's the son of a gang member. He's fully tattooed from collarbone down, more or less. You know, wears his hair long, wears leather jackets, he smokes. He's not viewed as a good dude. And in English class, their teacher decides that they need to do a group project 
and he puts the two of them together. And the two of them have to do this project together and they get to know each other and they learn that their reputations aren't everything and they both have secrets. So it's really cute and fun and fluffy. Of course there's chaos and romance. Go check it out if you're interested. I will put links down below. And also for those of you who might be interested, I do listen to playlists with every book that I write. So I have a Tattoos and Tiramisu playlist which I will link down below and I wrote a very long blog post about what each of the songs has to do with the story so I will link that down below as well. And finally I am working on something new which is super exciting. I wrote a very rough first draft for NaNoWriMo and I'm currently trying to do revisions for it. At its core it's about pirates and there's a lot of sexuality diversity and I'm really into it. This is actually the, the first story I'm writing that's more than one book. I'm intending for it to be a duology and it's a little bit terrifying. I've been trying to start plotting book two and I just don't know what direction to take part of it in. I know the overall story but there's a whole relationship thing I don't know what to do with and we'll figure it out. So it is currently at I think about 75,000 words which is also the longest manuscript I've ever written but with some of the stuff I'm adding in revisions I think it's gonna be closer to 85 or 90,000. The idea of having something be 90,000 words just feels like so much but it's a fantasy and I feel like it needs that much room. I'm really trying to dig into the world and make it feel really fleshed out and to make sure that the magic in it makes sense which is a problem that I had with my Rapunzel retelling. We'll talk about that one day. I do have slightly different goals with this one. I will tell you about that. I might as well. I just want to try going a more traditional route. So I'm unagented. I've never queried an agent. So my goal for this year in regards to my current whip is I want to have it at a point where I can submit it into Pitmad. And right now I'm trying to get through the first five chapters of revisions with all my notes. I'm super excited about it. I am so deeply in love with the characters and this world and I'm so pleased that I feel that way. It started off as such like a little crackpot idea and it's made itself into something that I feel is wonderful and I hope that one day other people will get to read it and also think it is wonderful. And I guess I'll share a song from my playlist with you. I'm flesh and I am bone, rise up ting ting like glitter and gold. I got fire in my soul, rise up ting ting like glitter. That's gonna be all for this writing update. I will see you sometime next month with more. Are you guys writing anything? Let me know down below and if you have any thoughts or feelings about the stuff that I have talked about today, let me know down below. I do respond to every comment on my videos. So I absolutely love hearing from you and I will see you soon with a new video. Bye-bye!